Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. All right, so this is an example of a Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram containing two sets. So for example, this might be set A and this might be set B. The rectangle is always the universal set. So a lot of times, we will uh, label the regions of the Venn diagram as well as the sets. So what I mean by that is, for example, here, do you see the shaded portion of the Venn diagram? That shaded region is only part of the larger sets. So in fact, the set A is divided into two regions. One of them is not shaded and it kind of looks like a moon shape. And the other one is that little football shaped gray region. So that set, is actually comprised of two separate regions. And the way those regions were formed was by the overlap with the other set. So in general, when we draw a Venn diagram with two sets like this, we draw, we're, what we're doing is we're creating four regions. And a lot of times I will use Roman numerals to number them. So I've listed over here the Roman numerals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just so in case you're not familiar with them. The reason I number them using Roman numerals instead of our regular Hindu Arabic numeral system is because a lot of times we'll use these regular numbers to indicate how how many elements are in a particular region, so I don't want to confuse the two. So for example, I might label this Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, Roman numeral four. I just do this so I can talk to you about the region, so the region has a kind of a name. Remember A intersect B we said was the overlap of the two sets? So here I have a Venn diagram representing A intersect B. The shaded region is the result of the set operation. I've numbered the regions one, two, three, and four. Region one is inside of A but not B. Region two is inside of both A and B. Region three is in only B. And region four is outside of both circles. It's everything else. In order to be included in the intersection, it has to be in both A and B. And the only region that fits that description is region two. So we've shaded region two. On the other hand, for a union of sets, here I have the same type of Venn diagram and I've labeled them one, two, three, and four, the regions again. But why are all three regions, region one, region two, and region three shaded in this case? That's right, union just puts everything together. So region one and two from A goes together with region two and three from B, and we get um, the union. Now, if you have trouble with it, uh, the way I'm describing it verbally, you can also do the set operations kind of like steps, like algebra, like we did on the previous slide. So if you wanted to find A union B, you would say, okay, A includes region one and two, and B includes regions two and three. So I'm gonna union these. It's like you're pretending that the region labels are elements. They're not, but we're gonna pretend for a minute. So then if you take the union of Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, with Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, you get a set containing what? The one, the two, and the three. And that's exactly what was shaded here. So then you could go ahead and shade it based on that result. So some people like the diagram and they can work directly with the diagrams. Other people have to write out the steps. Either way is okay. Okay, now in the bottom left Venn diagram, we have the diagram for a complement. So notice that there's, this is not like the other diagrams. There aren't four regions because the only set that was mentioned in this expression was A. So we only had to have one circle. So there's only two regions. There's a region inside of A and outside of A. And what does A complement mean again? Everything that's not in A is in the complement. Very good. So that's why you see region two here because that's the definition of complement. So now we have the difference. This is an interesting one. A take away B. I like it. It looks like you took a little bite out of A, right? Because you literally removed whatever it had in common with B, you took it out. So instead of shading all of A, you're just shading region one. It's everything that's in A, but not in B. Again, if you're not comfortable with that, you can write out A take away B, and you can say, okay, in set A, we have regions one and two. In set B, we have regions two and three. What's the difference here? So we're gonna take away the two, and all that's left is region one. And then you would shade it. I have students that like the diagrams. I have students that like to write it out like that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.